Callum McLeod, which is a very, very common name back in Glasgow. It's actually so, so common up there that there are more people who are called Callum McLeod as their whole name than just people who are called Callum as a first name. <laughs> 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 I'm actually not wearing a jumper tonight, but I have really, <laughs> really thick chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> really fucking weird feeling. <laughs> so most of you will have bought two tickets tonight to see the show, but I'm going to let you in on a little insider secret, which is that if you buy... Most of you have bought one ticket card. <laughs> For those of you that didn't know, if you buy two tickets, you actually find the show twice as funny. <laughs> you laugh twice as much. So in my case, you'll still laugh zero times. But you know, for everyone else, it's really good. I'm going to tell you a little story tonight about something that happened about a hundred years ago. <laughs> they were exploring the depths of the ocean, and you know what they found down there? They found a fish. <laughs> See this fish? This fish wasn't like any other fish that they'd ever seen before, because this fish looked like a cat. <laughs> you know they called the, that fish? That fish was called a catfish. <laughs> Very big in its day, it blew over. They thought, it was, they thought it was done, but then, but then just when five years later, they found another fish. <laughs> See, this fish did look like a cat, but it did look like a dog. <laughs> The dogfish. <laughs> and then about ten years after <laughs> again, very big story in its day, but it blew over. <laughs> and then ten years after that, this was about 1940, about the time this happened, they discovered a third type of fish. <laughs> and this fish, this fish, looks like a horse. <laughs> And do you know what they called that fish? They called that fish a seahorse. <laughs> do you know why that is? It's because if there was a fucking thing out there called a horse fish, <laughs> you would never be able to get to sea ever again. <laughs> I think that the Corpus Playroom is quite weird. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing about it is that you're like divided between two halves of the audience. And I don't know whether I should look at you or whether I should look at you, both as a general section of audience and also you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why this is such a problem when you're doing stand-up is that you can't look at one side for too long in case the other side starts huddling up and plotting something. <laughs> <laughs> or so you thought, you crafty little bastards. Because <laughs> I have come up with a solution. I have come up with a solution. Where I don't have to go like this because usually I'm always going like this because I'm like, what's on my face? <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to stand still and I'm just going to stand still and face the corner. And I know what you're thinking, but then Callum, you're not looking at any of us except I'm going to tell a joke like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at both of you at the same time. <laughs> Imagine how much scarier golf would be if Tiger Woods was a place. <laughs> Probably working. 